Governor of Niger State, Umaru Bago, has identified illegal mining as the primary cause of persistent banditry in the state. The governor disclosed this during a meeting with a delegation from the Victim Support Fund, where he called for urgent intervention by the federal government. Chenemi Bameyi reports. Bandit activities have continued unhindered in some communities in Niger State. Investigations have revealed that illegal mining and cattle rustling have served as the means through which these bandits infiltrate communities and unleash terror upon the innocents. Illegal mining persists due to the rich deposits of mineral resources in the state. Additionally, the thriving cattle market has provided a convenient platform for cattle rustling, further fueling the circle of violence. Illegal mining has taken a toll, you know, of uh, our economy, a lot of... Uh, foreigners, you know, who are mining lithium, you know, who are mining gold and other minerals, are responsible for all these uh, activities. As a consequence of these attacks, many local residents have been forcibly displaced, leading to a rising humanitarian crisis. The Victim Support Fund has identified Niger State as one of the areas in dire need of assistance for internally displaced persons, aiming to provide both food and skill empowerment programs. The major area that we are spending a lot of our time is the fourth area, which is restoration of livelihood. Because what terrorism does is it destroys your means of livelihood. And so what we try to do in the Victim Support Fund is to build and empower the people economically. So that by building them economically, you are also, they are able to go back to their communities, rebuild their homes and rebuild their life. While these interventions are welcome relief for the displaced, Governor Bago emphasizes the necessity of a more integrated approach to tackle the challenges of insecurity. As a government, we are looking for uh, interventions beyond the already uh, mapped out intervention for our state. We want a holistic approach to these issues. We have the highest number of out of school children. Uh, we've been collaborating with uh, development partners. Uh, the UNICEF just left here, provided some tampoling and e-learning materials for our people. Interventions like this will always be needed until the problems of internally displaced persons is completely solved through security in their communities. Chenemi Bami, TVC News, Mina.